It's Umsum time! What is artificial intelligence? No big deal. Umsum is the most intelligent. Oh, Umsum. Artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. Let's have a look at the types of artificial intelligence. Weak AI, or narrow AI, is AI trained and focused to perform specific tasks. For example, Apple's Siri, Amazon's Alexa, and autonomous vehicles. Strong AI is made up of artificial general intelligence and artificial superintelligence. Both of these are theoretical forms of AI. In artificial general intelligence, a machine would have an intelligence equal to humans, whereas in artificial superintelligence, a machine would surpass the intelligence and ability of the human brain. Strong AI has not been invented yet. Ah. Let's have a look at the applications of artificial intelligence. Speech recognition, customer service, recommendation engines, automated stock trading, etc. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Hmm? Topic: Electric charge. Huh? Hmm? How does a plastic hmm? comb attract uh -huh. paper? What? Hmm? You don't believe me? Hmm. Okay, let us try. <laughs> Take a plastic comb and bring it close to some pieces of paper. <laughs> hmm? Ah. Hmm? <laughs> hey, wait. Don't laugh. We need to do something first. Hmm. Rub the comb on your dry hair and then bring the oh, comb close uh -huh. to the pieces of paper. Hmm. Huh? See? I was correct. Mm. The pieces of paper got attracted to the plastic ah. comb. Do you think it is magic? <laughs> no. Whoa. The reason mm. behind this is electric charge. Ah! Electric huh? charge is the ah. quantity of electricity held in an ah! object. There are two mm? types of electric charges, positive ah. and negative. However, ah! there are some objects where the positive and negative charges are equal to one another. In such cases, we say that the object is electrically neutral. So, was the plastic comb initially electrically neutral or electrically charged? Initially, the plastic comb was electrically neutral. That means it had an equal number of positive and negative charges. Hence, it did not have the ability to exert a force and attract the pieces of paper. So, after rubbing the plastic comb on our dry hair, why was it able to attract the pieces of paper? I will tell you why. When we rubbed the plastic comb on our dry hair, it gained an electric charge. Once it got electrically charged, it got the ability to exert a force on the pieces of paper and attract them. This charge is oh. called a static electricity. Mm. However, do you think, like a plastic comb, a metallic comb would also attract the pieces of paper? <laughs> hmm? mm. No, nope, you are wrong. A metallic oh. comb will not attract huh? the pieces of paper like the plastic comb. Wondering mm. why is that so? Oh. Hmm? It is because uh -huh. plastic is not a good conductor huh? of electricity. It does not allow the electric charges to flow through it onto the earth. Mm -hmm. As a result, the charges build in the plastic comb, making it electrically charged and enabling it to attract the pieces of paper. Huh? Ah! However, metal is a good conductor of electricity. It does not let the charges build in it. It allows the electric charges to flow through it onto the earth. Thus, not allowing the metallic comb to get electrically charged. As a result, the metallic comb does not attract the pieces of paper. Oh. <laughs> Topic, neutralization huh? reaction. How to treat a bee stick. Oh. Mm. Huh? <laughs> hey, oh. hold on, don't go near that honeycomb. Please listen huh? to me. It is quite dangerous. <laughs> Fine, go ahead. <laughs> ah. 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 Hmm? 
See, huh? I told you. Mm. Okay, now oh. don't worry. Put this baking soda solution on huh? the bee stung area. Hmm. <laughs> you got some relief, right? Hmm. <laughs> Do you know why oh. you got relief? This huh? happened because a neutralization reaction took place when we applied baking soda on the stung mm. area. Ah! The venom of a honeybee contains formic acid. <laughs> oh. Huh? When it stings us, it injects that acid into our skin. Formic acid ah! causes immense pain and irritation. However, when we apply baking soda solution, which is a huh? mild base on the stung area, it neutralizes the formic acid and cancels its effect. As a result, uh -huh. the sensation of pain and irritation Hooray! decreases and we get some relief. Such a reaction between an acid and a base is called neutralization. In neutralization, uh, oh. both acidic and basic solutions neutralize the effect of each other and the nature of both acids and bases gets destroyed. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hey, wait. Uh, what are you doing? Don't tease that insect. It is not oh. a honeybee. Huh? It looks similar to a honeybee, but it is oh. a bit longer. It is called huh? a wasp. At least this time, listen to me. Okay, don't listen and bear the consequences. Huh? 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 Applying the baking soda is not going to help. See, nothing is happening. I will tell you what to do. Pour this vinegar on the stung area. You will get some relief. Why do you think the baking soda solution did not help in this case? Earlier, in case of the honeybee, we learned that its venom is acidic. Hence, baking soda, being a basic solution, helped to neutralize the effect. Now, in case of a wasp, the nature of its venom is basic. When it stings us, it injects the venom into our skin. The venom causes us pain and itching. Now, baking soda is also a basic solution. Mm. Hence, it will not provide mm. any sort of relief. However, huh? when we pour vinegar, which is a mild acid, mm. on the stung area, the acid, that is, huh? vinegar and the base, <laughs> that is, the wasp's venom get yeah. neutralized. As a result, the sensation <laughs> of pain and itching Hooray! decreases and we feel better. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Topic, nuclear fusion. Huh? Why is nuclear fusion not used huh? to generate electricity? Mm. You really want to know the answer to this, right? <laughs> but wait, before answering the question, hmm. let us understand oh. what is meant by nuclear fusion. Huh? When two huh? lighter nuclei combine to no. form a heavy huh? nucleus, a large amount of energy huh? is released. Huh? This process is huh? called nuclear fusion. Oh. Hmm? Where does this nuclear fusion take place? You think huh? that it takes place in a laboratory? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. You are hmm? absolutely hmm? wrong. Huh? Nuclear huh? fusion takes place oh! in the sun. The nuclei of two hydrogen huh? atoms join together to form a heavy nucleus of helium with the release of a large amount of energy. Oh. How do you think this energy reaches us? Ah. Nah. It does huh? not reach us through power oh. lines. Wait, I will tell you. The energy huh? released after nuclear fusion reaches us in the form of sunlight, ultraviolet radiations, heat, etc. Oh. Huh? Hey, but we are already producing electricity oh. with the help of nuclear fission. So, huh? why do we require mm. nuclear fusion? 
For this, oh. you need to first understand the difference uh -huh. between nuclear fusion oh. and nuclear fission. <laughs> As we already know, nuclear oh. fusion is the fusion of two lighter nuclei with the release of a large amount of energy. The exact oh. opposite process happens in nuclear fission. Here, huh? a heavier nucleus splits into two lighter nuclei releasing a large amount of energy. Uh -huh. This process of fission is used in nuclear power plants, where a heavy nucleus of uranium is split into lighter nuclei. The energy that is released in this is used to generate electricity. Oh. However, there is a major disadvantage of huh? nuclear fission. Oh. Wondering what it is? Mm. The major disadvantage uh -huh. is that uranium is a radioactive element. Oh. When uranium undergoes oh. fission, it generates radioactive uh -huh. waste along with energy. This radioactive waste is very harmful for most life forms and the environment. Hence, huh? we need to find oh. a clean and safe source of energy to mm. generate electricity. Mm. Huh? What source oh. would that be? Mm. Would it be nuclear fusion? <laughs> Bingo! Hooray! You are right! Huh? Then huh? why are we not harnessing mm. the energy of nuclear fusion to produce mm. electricity? This huh? is because, for nuclear fusion, oh. two conditions are required. Oh! They huh? are high pressure and high temperature. Only when these huh? conditions are met oh. can the two nuclei travel at very high speeds huh? resulting in collision. Mm. Huh? On mm? Earth, huh? it is extremely difficult to create such high pressure huh? and temperature. <laughs> Even if we are somehow able to create these conditions, huh? the question is how will we control them? Oh. As there are many questions huh? unanswered and unsolved, mm? we have not yet mm. succeeded huh? in using nuclear fusion in the production of mm. electricity. Hmm?